Dependent clauses are something that we touched on before. The basic idea behind a dependent clause is that it cannot stand on its own as a sentence. That's why it's called a dependent clause, because it depends on the main clause, an independent clause, and it describes something in the main clause. So it's a group of words that has a subject and a verb, but doesn't stand on its own. It doesn't express a complete thought. It can act as an adjective, adverb, or noun. So that's when we talked about adjective clauses, adverbial clauses, and noun clauses. So they start off with different uh, types of words that you can see. We'll introduce them like relative pronouns, subordinating conjunctions, or noun clause identifiers. So here's what they look like. The relative pronouns are in the column on the left there. They start adjective dependent clauses. So those are the types of words that are going to start something that acts as an adjective. The subordinating conjunctions would start adverbial dependent clauses. So those words are the ones that will start things that will act like an adverb, clauses that will act like an adverb. And then in the last column on the right, the noun clause identifiers will start noun dependent clauses. So a complex sentence is one that has an independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. So here's some examples. We have um, one that uses a relative pronoun is, we searched all of the garage sales for action figures that we didn't already have. So you can see the word that is introducing this adjective clause, and it has one independent clause and one dependent clause. In the second example, the subordinating conjunction though is introducing the sentence. This time the dependent clause comes at the beginning, which is why we have a comma after it. Though she knew it was wrong, comma, she took the last of the old man's jelly beans. So that's an adverbial clause introduced by the word though. And finally, we have the noun clause identifier here introduced with the word why. I don't know why I fall for that trick every time. So that introduced the noun dependent clause.